Okay, today in Garage Mahal, we're going to be going over how to measure an O-ring. Basically, why I had to run across this problem is on top of my injector for my little Suzuki SX4, there was a little O-ring on top of this injector, and it was leaking. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see that little tear in the top of it, but that's why it's leaking, and who cares? Anyway... All right, from what I found out online, there's three measurements that you're looking for for your O-ring. You are going to be looking for your inner diameter, your outer diameter, and then they want your cross-section diameter. So they suggest, what I found online, I couldn't find anything on YouTube, but what they suggest is laying it flat and then putting your calibers... and then getting your measurement. Now I know this outer measurement is 12, so I'll show that to you nice and close up. So you can see where that is 12 millimeters. That's your little millimeter section right there. See where it's zeroed out? So that's 12. Your inner diameter I know this inner diameter is exactly eight millimeters. So I put that over there. And through trial and error, I got this to, so without distorting the O-ring, you can tell that that is at eight millimeters. So that's your inner diameter. And then next is they want your cross section for the O-ring. So I had measured this before, so I know it is two millimeters. So if you can take a look on that. So that's two, two millimeters. So the sizes that they need in order is going to be your inner diameter, your outer diameter, and then your cross section. So, again, your inner measurement, then your outer, and then your cross section. Now, if you're ordering like a bulk pack, like I end up doing, because believe it or not, I call my Suzuki dealer and they wanted four dollars for this thing, just one, four dollars. I went to buy it online from an O-ring company. And they wanted five dollars plus shipping, so it was gonna be like eleven bucks for this sucker. So what I ended up doing is I found a like a universal kit online, Amazon, and they had two hundred and fifty O rings for ten bucks. Now there's a variety of sizes, but the size I needed was eight, twelve by two. And in a bulk pack, they listed it as an eight millimeter O ring. So basically, I have four injectors. So I'm going to replace all four O-rings for 10 bucks versus 16 if I bought from a dealer or from an O-ring company. It was probably going to cost me um, probably about 40 bucks. So instead, I bought a pair of calibers online, pretty cheap. Put the link below for that. And then uh, the universal O-ring. And then that was it. So, save myself a little bit of money and be able to fix my leaky fuel injector. Alright, hope that helps you.